Hey guys, Red Eyes here, and I'd like to welcome you back to Hermitcraft. I think we're on episode 21. And, uh, yeah, still waiting on 1.5 so I can actually put in the uh, uh, chest room with all the item separation and that. Really reluctant to do it before uh, the complete 1.5 comes out because I'm sure they're still fixing bugs, that kind of thing. I'm on uh, fast lighting still, but I notice my FPS is actually still a little bit low. It's at 28. So I'm going to have to move it down to fast graphics. And anyways, I recorded a few episodes over the last few days, and I just didn't think... Oh, didn't think you'd be happy with them. So, yeah. I didn't upload them, so sorry about that. And also, I wasn't in the best of moods, and I think that might have come across in the videos. But I did put in this 3x3 creeper face, which someone showed me. Although, maybe I shouldn't have done it out of bricks, because... You sort of lose definition, because uh, there's so much going on. But yeah, that's a pretty good little feature there for that 3x3 hole. And uh, yeah, it could be done with a different material. Anyways, first of all, I have a quick request. I'm going to be buying a graphics card, uh, so I can see more cows at once. <laughs> no. I'm just going to be upgrading it, and uh, my budget is about 200, 250 euros. I'm in France, so anything in Europe is better. And uh, if you know of any good deals, let me know. And I'm, I think I'm looking at a ATI 2950 or 7950, or maybe a GTX uh, Nvidia GTX 660 or a 670. But I can't can't quite remember. So any advice on that would be appreciated. And yeah, anyways, today what we're going to do is work on farms. Uh, yeah, when I go traveling and stuff, I realize that the zombie flesh, as tasty as it may be, is not the best food source. It's alright when I'm pottering around here, just doing little bits and bobs, but I need some beef. <laughs> now, I've, I've started trying to put in a farm here, and the idea is that I have the adult cows at the bottom here, and then I breed them, and the baby ones would... Oh yeah, come on. Baby ones would come back here, and they go up the stair into some source blocks, and then up into this other water stream, which would then then take them forward, and they would sit in front of the pistons, and then they could hop around and breathe, and then when I wanted to release them, I would open that up, and they would fall down, and then I could close it and just push them down, you know? But... Uh, we'll see if we can breed the cows, and you'll see what happens. So, I'll breed some cows. And they make a little baby cow there. There he is. But what happens is, I'll get back here, go into the water, and... Uh, it's not happening right now for some reason. But first of all, he's not going up. Oh yeah, there you see. Just gets stuck in the corner. And, unfortunately, I'll get my buckets out to save him, because he is going to drown. And every variation of this I've tried, uh, it just seems that they drown. Uh, so, yeah, I'm a bit disappointed with that. Come on. There we go. So I'll just release, release this guy. Be free! I don't know if he's stuck in the block or what, but... I just can't get the baby ones to swim up. So, I'm gonna forget about this idea and just put in something really, really basic, which I actually think will work quite well. Um, yeah, it doesn't require any, well, it might require redstone, I don't know. I haven't actually built it yet. But we'll try it out. So I'm gonna pull all this down. Have I got silk touch? Oh, I do. Is that, yeah, silk touch. Pull all this down, put in a very simple cow farm, which I actually think will suit this uh, ledge thing. And, yeah, I'm going to have to improve the wheat farm down there as well, because there was four rows of wheat, but there's just no way I can reach them all from a minecart. And the idea is I have a minecart going back and forth while I replant it, and it was based on four rows, but I just can't reach all four at once. So that is kind of annoying. But, 
yeah, nothing wrong with doing everything simple, especially as everything is still getting updated and bug fixed and whatever. So, really reluctant to do any redstone. I've spent some time in the nether blasting more stuff. Uh, that takes ages, basically. Used a whole bunch of TNT. I think I'm going to have to use a whole bunch more. But uh, I guess that's just the way it is. Oh, and there's Shishwami. Oh, and he left. He wants the server to himself. <laughs> uh, whatever. Okay. So this shouldn't take long to make it all. Except for... Uh, I might want to push it back a little bit further. Oh, that's probably good here. Is that half blocks? Yeah, I'll make this row half blocks too. And then I'll have a little bit more space to walk around. And is that just going to be... Hmm. I think I might want to put dirt here just for looks. So I have the cows walking around on dirt instead of uh, just solid floor. So, yeah. Okay, I'll pull all this out, get it ready, and show you the super basic cow farm. Oh, I just turned the rain off, and then it suddenly rained for a second again. I got scared there. Or I went to sleep, I didn't turn it off. Anyways, I think I've got the basic idea here. Um, it took a lot longer than I thought because I was just trying out different designs and ended up with this stripy wall pattern, which is terrible, but whatever. Anyways, the basic idea here is some cows behind a fence, and that is pretty much it. So, um, if I'm standing on this half block here, and I look straight ahead, then I can reach all the top cows, but when they breed, I won't be able to hit the baby one. And that is pretty much it. So very simple. And that means all I need to do... Do I have a sword somewhere? No, I did not. My inventory is just totally rammed full of something. I don't know what. Uh, I'll just make a sword there kill one of these guys, or kill the one near the mother. And you see, I don't hit the baby cow. Even if I try, actually. I haven't actually tried to hit him. But yeah, I can't, can't hit him. So that is the basis of it. Now, I was going to have a rail system here. Oh, poor little orphan cow. <laughs> I'll have to let him out. Can't, uh, can't leave him in here. Go on, there's some other cows down there. Go and play with them. They're, they're just over there, in the trees. <laughs> but yeah, so that's the basis of it. Uh, nice and simple, just to do with the fence height, really. And uh, I wanted to have a rail system going along, where I could also do it, except for I'll be able to kill the baby cows by accident. And when I get out, it puts me in the farm. <laughs> so that probably won't work. And even if I have uh, solid blocks here, and I get out, it puts me in the farm. So that's not going to work. But that's okay. Uh, it will also mean I should put the half block at this level. And uh, let's see, I'll use more of this dark wood. That looks nice. Whoops. I'll fix that later. So like that. And then I have half blocks above, so I can't actually get in. And maybe I can hit the baby cows by accident there. So I'll just have to aim up a little bit. And now I just need some sort of collection system to bring everything to the front. Or maybe I don't actually if I'm this close. So let's see, I've got 41 uh, dirt blocks on me. I'll just spread them all out here. Imagining I'm murdering some cows. And then I go towards it. I get the ones at the front, but not the ones at the back. So, I'm going to have to have water coming out of here. And I guess the easiest way is just to have a dispenser every now and again. So, dispenser here, which would flow out one... I oh, know, I'd want it to flow two blocks, wouldn't I? So, 
So I have to move this wall back, maybe. Because if it's only flowing one block, it will come out and then just flow directly in this direction. But I want it to flow towards the front. Um, yeah. So maybe... Um, the problem is there's redstone behind here for the wheat farm, which is below. So I kind of have to be careful what I do. But let's see, I'll just make another axe. Uh, one, two, three. Make some more wood. Man, I really should get rid of some of this stuff. <laughs> Inventory overload. Axe. That's what I want. Now, oh, whatever. I'll just make another chest. I'm really out of options here. Or out of space. Okay, this can all just go in here. I'll get what I need after. Da -da -da. And where's that axe? So let's see, we'll just pull some of this out. And I'll get some dispensers too, or droppers or whatever. Okay, so it could be a problem because I'd have to put the dispenser back here. I'm not sure if it will make the, uh, if the redstone behind will trigger it. It probably will, I'm guessing. So we'll just see. Okay, it didn't come out then. Oh, it didn't trigger it. Okay, that's good. And just make sure there's no weird bud switch stuff going on. I had a lever somewhere. There, so if this thing is powered. Uh, oh, put that on there. Oh no. Okay, didn't, didn't think that through. <laughs> Let's see. The water is flowing. I put off the signal then. It's still flowing. Put it back on. And it's okay. So I think that should be okay. I can put dispensers down there. And where would I then want to put them? Hmm. Well, if that's the case, I may as well push the whole wall back as well. I don't know, but then I'll, I might be able to reach the baby cows. Hmm. I guess I just have to aim up there. It doesn't really matter. If I hit one by accident, I'll know about it, and then I can just aim up a little bit more. Yeah, and then there'll be more grass, and that will look nicer, I think. So, let's just figure this out. This is the end. I want water to flow to here, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then put one here. So if there's one there, the water will flow out. Oh, it flows like that. Oh, that's okay though, because if I take out the wall, then it will flow uh, at an angle, or flow forward, as it were. Right, so I'll just do that quickly. And while I'm doing that, I might change the pattern a bit. Because if you look below, you can see how it is. There's sort of strips of dark wood there, and then it goes over six uh, normal wood, and then another strip of dark wood there. And I think I might just follow that. So it's the same pattern for both levels. Uh, it's a pretty boring pattern, but I might be able to improve on it at some point. Let's see, that's there, so it's one, two, uh, three. Oh no, then I don't want to, hmm, I won't, don't want stairs at the bottom now, because, because, because uh, that was only so you could see a bit more grass. Hmm. Maybe I'll just move this fence forward, because I'm not having the rail system. Right, so I've got this sort of pattern thing going on. Of course, uh, it's not the same on each end, which is sort of disturbing. So I might have to make this a little bit longer, just so it ends up the same at both ends. Well, that's okay. And uh, let's see, I'll just chuck a bunch of items in. Put some redstone above there, all these have got buckets in them with water. So I'll just move back and throw my axe on the ground. <laughs> Dirt blocks is what I wanted to throw. 
And I think I had 34. Come on, can I get out here? No. Okay, well, whatever. I think I had 34. Hmm. Although now I'm thinking I might have to add hoppers as well to collect everything. Might be a better option. Oh, whatever. Doesn't it? Everything doesn't need hoppers. Let's see, it pushes it there. And there's going to be half blocks Oop, above there. So. Oh, yeah, it collects it though. So that's okay. Right. So I think I'm actually going to change this top row here where it's the normal wood. I don't really like that. I'll probably just make it dark wood. Um. Yeah, and then I have to put a roof on, and then we can move on to the next farm. Oh, got to get some cows in there too. <laughs> that might help. <laughs> Come on. I know you love me. <laughs> I love you too, brown cow. But go in the hole. Yes. Go in. Go on. So close. No! <laughs> don't go there. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, don't run away. <sighs> Come on. Working with animals is tough. Cows under the moon. <laughs> Very artistic. Careful. Careful. Careful, guys. Whoops. Come on. Oh no. I, think I messed it up. No, oh, no. All right, you're there. <laughs> Make up your mind, cows. All right. Okay, so I think I've got eight in there. That's probably enough. Let's see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, eight. And now, I just need to clean up a bit, and then I'll figure out the roof. Although for the roof, I think I'll just use this normal wood. And maybe continue the same pattern as I had for the level below. So that's uh, six of these. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then some dark wood. Like that. And then... I can move on to the next farm above. All right. Yeah. That's starting to look good. That'll look good with another little farm above there, I'd say. And I got the cows in there. I actually did some work on the wheat farm below as well. Tidied that up. So we can go there and plant some wheat. Uh, sounds so exciting. Oh no, I'm falling in a hole. Uh, one of the lighting holes. Um, yeah, still a bit messy, you got, you know, chests and stuff here. Let's see, you got a bunch of seeds, and I'll take two stacks and see how many I can plant in one go. Uh, yeah. Because I haven't actually counted yet, is the thing. Okay, so just hoe this, have a hoe down. And uh, plant this, or I'll try and plant it as I intend to in the minecart. Because that's what I need to test as well. I, you see I haven't got any powered rails down yet, so I need to figure out where they're going to go. And uh, let's see, I'll probably start from this end over here, I'd imagine. And I don't want to go too fast, so just one powered rail will do. Okay, put that there. No, there, I said. <laughs> And get one of those, get an old button, uh, stick that on the wall, just, no, no, I want it on this side, don't I? Otherwise, when I uh, leave, I'll be facing in the wrong direction. That won't be very good. And just a random solid block behind here for now. Yeah, and I want to open this up a bit, because there's a mob trap in here. <laughs> oh, there's a skelly. Hello. Boing. Yeah, get a view of that while you're doing it. That, that would be pretty nice, I think. Um, but just before I plant the seeds, I'll do a quick test here. 
Okay. Oh, that's annoying. It sort of changes your direction as well as you leave. Let's see how far I get. I get right to the end. Wow. That's probably going to be the best, uh, best solution, actually, because I need some time to line up. And if you go too quickly, um, then uh, you can't really... What am I trying to say? If you go too quickly, then... Uh, <laughs> still can't say. You can't plant it. Okay. Uh, and I'll put another button at this end as well, because... What am I doing? Because, uh, yeah, you know, you're going to have to go three times. So it'll be one, two, and then you go again, and then end up here. So I don't want this end to be shooting you back each time. Okay, so we'll try this out. Get some seeds ready. Aim at the back. Yeah, that's working okay. Uh, maybe you could do with a little bit of a speed boost in the middle. Certainly slows down at the end. That's all right. And then this is the tough part because it swings your vision around. Oh no, it didn't that time. Well, I'm not going very fast. Hmm. Bit of a slow down there. Oh, need some time to get some other seeds out. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Definitely need a another powered rail somewhere. Or maybe the button just glitched out or something. Come on. Luckily I can press forward now. Okay. And the final row. Okay, that one worked better. Bit of lag. Oh, Mr. Wheat. Oh no, got out of the cart. What's going on? Okay, well it's still not perfect, but... I think I can maybe extend the ends and get some sort of line-up system uh, so you're lined up and ready to plant them. And then I need something for when I'm running out of wheat as well. Uh, maybe when I get to the end I can have a dispenser shoot out a bunch of wheat just to, or a bunch of seeds just so you have enough to make it to the other end. And that way I wouldn't actually have to carry any seeds, it would just be all automatic. Yeah, so we'll probably do that. Not right now, though. Alright, so the farm design is pretty basic. There's the uh, stuff growing at the front, and the block where the melon or uh, pumpkin will grow at the back, and then pistons behind it. And I've got a slightly different version here. So there's sticky pistons, uh, mostly because the redstone here would be too close. Oh no, it wouldn't. What am I talking about? Well, it looks better anyways. <laughs> I was for some reason thinking that redstone there, if it was on this block, would connect to this one. Uh, but of course it's, it wouldn't, because it's a block higher. And then I'm just thinking if this should be open, like so you can see the grass, or if it should be covered. And then, you know, because there's going to be rail running along the edge here to harvest everything. Because uh, it grows automatically, so all you have to do is harvest it. Um, yeah, I don't know, I'll just have a look from over there, by those cats. Hey, kitties! <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, I quite like seeing the bit of grass, actually. Because you'll see the stalks growing on it, too. Um, I don't like that over there. The, uh, it's just too high up, it's much better having it low profile, I think. So, huh. well it'll be an easy fix, but let me know if you like seeing the grass or not, and I'll just put the rest in uh, now. Right, so the only funky bit here is, uh, well I've got 15 long redstone here, I think 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And then I have to get the signal to travel along while powering the pistons at this level too. So basically you just build one of these. So the power comes into the repeater behind, into the block above, and then that powers this line here. And then to power the two at this level, 
Uh, this redstone dust is going to get the power from the block above. And I'll power that one, and also power that block there. So that is uh, pretty much it. So all I have to do now is cover this up. And I think I'll just put some stairs there and do a stair pattern like I have on the bottom layer where the wheat farm is. And, uh, yeah. So let's see, redstone as well comes along there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Yeah, so shouldn't even need another repeater here, depending on where I put the power button exactly. Uh, let's see, let's just make one quickly to see if it works. Okay, oh, where'd I put it? There we go. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so I'll just cover this up and I think that will be it for the day. Hmm, I also realized I didn't think about the lighting here. So I think I'll put it sort of in the same pattern that I had the dispensers underneath for the cow farm. And it will cause more lag because of the lighting uh, the light source moving in and out when I actually harvest it. But I can live with that, I think. And I want to keep it low profile because I'm going to put another one above. Even though there's a walkway there, I've realized it's a point pointless walkway. It's like, doesn't really do anything. I hardly ever use it, so. Uh, yeah, I'd rather have farms there and just have all my farms along this wall. Or most of them. Yeah, that's pretty good. So now, I can get to planting. So, whoops, that's far too many. <laughs> but I've already got a whole bunch of watermelons. So I don't think I need them. So I'll just make some, uh, what are they called? Some pumpkins for now. Just plant them, oop, plant them before it, the soil changes back. And then we should be okay. Come on. <laughs> yeah. And then just do a little bit more up here, I think, because whatever goes above there will have to uh, extend out a little bit anyways. So I'll continue this same striped pattern. And... Uh, yep. Okay, and then we'll have a look. Yeah, so I think this part over here looks pretty good. I don't really like the floor here, having this too wide, uh, dark plank. So, I don't know, I might just change this front one to jungle wood. Because that's what the one below has. And below that there's jungle wood as well. So that would be sort of uh, all jungle wood on top of each other. I don't know, it might not even be necessary though. I have to wait until they grow and then we can harvest them and see how far they pop out. I might only need this one here. And maybe a fence or something because it's starting to get sort of high up here. <laughs> but I'll just put it back to jungle wood for the second. Uh, not jungle wood, dark wood for just for now. And uh, yeah, think about that over the next few days. Anyways, yeah, that is more like it. Got my wheat on the bottom, cows in the middle, uh, and pumpkins growing on top for now. I'll have another one above there, have something below. Man, it's great. Why is the water on? <laughs> oh, those poor cows. Well, at least it doesn't hurt them. And that's my last ender pearl, so can I change this? Oh, I might need a button. That would work better. Yeah, a button would work better than I only have to press it once. And then the fun begins. Maybe I'll figure out some way of powering it from both ends as well. But anyway, so I think that's about it for now. Got some more wheat here, so I will grow some more meat with the wheat. 
<laughs> Some of the guys are glitching out in the floor, but, you know, I'm not their boss. I'm just the one who's going to eat them. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Thanks for watching, and I will see you soon. Hehehe. <laughs>